Cameras to catch speeders and red light runners are making a comeback. Today, Minneapolis outlined the next steps in a pilot program. Ryan Race joins us with what this will look like. Ryan. You guys, the cameras are at least a year away, but the planning is well underway. Minneapolis is one of two cities to launch a pilot program under the new state law that is aimed to be less controversial. You have to go back in time, 17 years to be exact, to find red light cameras high atop poles around Minneapolis. The state Supreme Court put an end to it in 2007, but now it's back with new guardrails. We're not taking a picture of anyone. We're, this, these cameras can only be used for the automated traffic enforcement. They can't be used for anything else. Minneapolis is one of two cities getting ready to launch a pilot program for speed and red light cameras. It'll start as early as next August with five cameras within a few blocks of a school that's identified as an unsafe area. The goal to save lives, at least 33 people People have been killed in Minneapolis from speeding or running red lights in the last two years. Many of these are, you know, they're just crossing the street or, you know, driving themselves going through an intersection and, uh, and now their life is over. Today, the city council said the new state law that paved the way for the program was one of the city's top priorities. They also addressed the elephant in the room. I know that there have been uh, various concerns um, about surveillance and how that might tie into this. Program coordinator Ethan Foley said this pilot program tries to address those concerns by only taking pictures of a license plate, not having MPD involved in ticketing the owner of a car, not necessarily the driver. We have to do the pilot well, right? Uh, I'm, I'm not naive. I know that there are pe some people have concerns, um, and I think those are fair. The first citation will be a warning. After that, it will be $40 per citation. The city emphasizes this is not about mon making money. It's about changing behavior. Live in Minneapolis tonight, Ryan Raish, 5 Eyewitness News.